All right, so um, I'm going to show you how I uh, burn uh, rattan sticks, uh, Kali sticks, rattan sticks, um, to give them a decor to give them a decorative look. Um, there's many different ways you can do that. You can use kind of a small blowtorch. You could probably use a lighter. Um, you can use uh, actually a charcoal grill uh, that's got a good flame underneath um, for different patterns and stuff. Uh, right now, I'm going to use uh, both as an example, this um, portable gas uh, propane burner here, and then we we'll, can also use the uh, electric uh, eye here, which should work as well. First, we're going to just, I'm just going to show you what I do on this gas um, range here. So, I'm going to make sure it's locked. I'm going to turn it on. It's lit. There we go. So these actually come in very, very handy uh, for camping and whatnot um, as a uh, maybe even a prepping item to have uh, if the, the lights go out, the gas goes out, that sort of thing. So anyway, so uh, here's the uh, naked uh, rattan stick that I'm going to decorate. And so really what we want to do is I want to control the flame a bit, so I'm going to turn this down. And... Basically, I can take this and I'm going to go from one end to the other. Uh, a note of uh, safety and precaution. You want to have a, a fire extinguisher uh, nearby in case a flame happens for safety and an oven mitt or a towel to protect your hands because the stick does get hot. All right, so basically you take this and it's just as simple as uh, burning and you wait till it gets a little smoky. Uh, for the uh, darkness of the pattern. Again, not much rocket science to this at all. You can kind of hear the skin crackle a little bit and then you'll have a, a nice little burn here like that, right? And so what I can do then is control my burns on and rotate it around and do a burn elsewhere. And the cool thing about this is that your burn patterns will probably never be the same. So this is what we have here. And I'm just going to go all the way down the stick uh, like this at different intervals. So you can get quite decorative with this. The longer you have it on the flame, obviously the darker the burn will get. I just kind of rotate it around and put it... Uh, on a different spot and let it burn. Now if this was a gas range, uh, some of the gas range has like a patterned eye on it and you can lay your stick on the patterned eye and that'll create kind of a cool little burn pattern on it. Uh, I don't have that now but in some of my older sticks that I've burned in the past that has that pattern because I've been able to use a gas range uh, to decorate my sticks. There, kind of give it a leopard look, if you will. And again, just be careful that you don't burn yourself and that you don't burn your house down. Uh, it's probably better to do this outside. Rattan has a really nice scent when it burns, especially when you're training with it and you're hitting sticks with someone else. I just love that smell. I mean, just and you're really going at it and you're you're whacking the sticks and your hands sting in and your your hand is reverberating off of the impact. Uh, but the, the, the whole gym just fills with that smell of rattan. It's just, ugh, I love that smell. I love it. So, but if you have uh, issues with the smell, then you uh, this uh, range here is equipped with a, a fan that I can uh, I can put turn on. So I can go here. I'm gonna go, probably do a real dark spot on this node here, and I'm running out of space. So now I'm gonna flip this around. That's when my um, my oven mitt will come into handy. 
because this is all going to be hot on this end here. Get a nice dark burn here on this one. So now I'm going to do the other end. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to put my oven mitt on. And now I can safely handle the other side and while continuing to burn uh, the stick. Okay, so we've got a pretty good, decent pattern here. Uh, oftentimes, you can kind of take your stick and just run it and twirl it uh, over the flames. And what this will do is it'll give it a nice little kind of a brown uh, color to it. Um, and you just got to take your time with this. It's not something that happens real quickly, but it ends up being a nice, subtle, kind of a darker brown all the way around it. And again, I'm going to remind you that your stick is going to be hot, so um, don't do not do this without wearing some sort of oven mitt or hand protection. Okay. I just want to get this nice brown color. I'm going to switch this around. Do the same thing on this side. I just kind of twirl this around like this, kind of get it nice and kind of brown, a little golden brownish. kind of toughens up or hardens the, the skin a little bit so it doesn't begin to fray right away when you start to use it you can get some sticks where they where they peel the skin off uh, and burn them uh, I don't find those as, as, as durable when it's treat when it's when they're treated that way but that's that's just been my experience. So pretty much here we go with the stick, um, kind of how it's looking. Uh, I'm going to set this aside 
and I'm going to uh, burn the other one similar in pattern so that they're kind of consistent and they look uh, alike and then um, we're going to add some decorations using the gas range and I could if you don't have a gas burner like this and you have an electric stove you when we go to the electric uh, part of burning we'll be able to do that as well you could do it totally that, that way as well okay hopefully you can see this pattern that's I'm um, I figured out how to create on this portable propane uh, stove get in this kind of semicircle uh, burn here and what I've discovered is by laying the stick kind of just at this angle in this manner here and letting it burn I'm getting a nice semicircle burn which is pretty so you can get some nice semicircle burn there that you can get uh, so I'm learning that I may do one or two patterns on this stick here so that they're consistent um, but uh, this is looking pretty pretty good looking pretty nice So, so far, this is what we have here. Um, this is looking pretty good, looking pretty nice. We're going to add a little bit more embellishment to it uh, because we're going to go ahead and use this, the, uh, the uh, electric eye. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, set this aside. set the um, eye on high, uh, electric eye on high, set these aside for now. And again I've got uh, oven mitt that I'm wearing for safety and I got my handy dandy uh, fire extinguisher nearby if needed. Okay I have my electric eye on on high heat. You can probably see it's kind of glowing red which is what we want. Uh, we also have the fan on because this may get smoky and I don't want to set off any fire alarms or inhale anything noxious. So I'm going to put my uh, oven mitt on just for safety's sake here. I keep it burning my hands. And then all you, can, uh, you have to do is just place this on the eye for a few seconds. You see the smoke rising so that's why I have the fan on. And you have a nice little pattern on there, right? down here a little bit and just be intermediate intermittent about this now we could have done it any so anyway actually we could have done it completely on the electric stove this is a combo of the the, the, the portable gas um, range that I have uh, I could could completely do it just that way or now I'm just doing it with this way so combination, it's up to you. If you use like a torch or something, you can be really um, precise about it. And actually be very direct, be very um, uh, creative and specific and precise in your burning. And obviously because this is a coil, depending on where I put this at, it's going to give me a different pattern on the coil. Just going to wave that out. Like that. And again, kids, get your parents. Alright, you need parental supervision for this sort of thing. So don't be doing this if you're under 13, 14, 15. If you're, if you're not an adult, don't do this. All right, you're liable to hurt yourself, burn down your house, burn your cat. So adult supervision required. All right, that's my disclaimer. But here we go. This is kind of how it's looking. It's looking pretty, kind of pretty, pretty cool to me. It's gonna be just kind of any sort of pattern or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I think I'm okay with this stick. I'm going to do the next one. Give me a nice 
nice little pattern there. I'm trying to find uh, really uh, open areas to burn a pattern into, right? Again, art is very subjective, so it's however you choose to decorate it. Sometimes I've had sticks where I've just decorated only one half and left the rest of it, you know, undecorated. Like, that's a different look too. Here are our sticks. I'm do something in the middle on this one here. The eye is still hot, so I can still kind of do this here. Let's see. Get, the, get that in there. Get the middle. Yeah. Okay, so these are still going to be pretty hot, uh, still, so be careful. But this is basically how I burn, and there's many different ways you can burn these. Like I said, you could use a candle, you could use a blowtorch, uh, you could use a lighter, um, a gas range, a uh, gas grill, a uh, uh, barbecue grill. Obviously, you saw the different kind of cool patterns you can get with a uh, with a uh, electric uh, range. So. Um, this is all up to you um, and again this is purely decorative it does kind of help um, harden and seal the stick a little bit or rather that's what we're going to do next is seal it but it does kind of harden the outside a bit so it doesn't fray quite right away versus uh, untreated or unburned uh, rattan sticks so we're going to go on to the next step here and that's sealing it okay so I'm out on my uh, patio here uh, at the gas grill and I've made a trough out of aluminum foil about three layers three long sheets that'll fit the stick but obviously the grill <laughs> is not long enough so what I'm gonna end up having to do is kind of rotate things around here but what I put in here is um, vegetable oil canola oil okay and I'm kind of heating it up get it nice and heated and then we're going to put our sticks in there and let them kind of, we're going to let them bake in there for a little while. Uh, and that's for the rattan to soak up the, uh, the oils, all right? And that's the sealing it so that it retains some moisture uh, so that they, the sticks don't become so brittle. They last a little longer, okay? So we're going to just kind of heat this up. Uh, normally, I mean, it's summertime. Normally, you, you do this in the oven. Uh, at, at about 250 degrees um, I've got this on a very low setting on the on the on the grill here so you, you know for about an hour or so is is about right and again you want to keep an eye on things because you're not trying to make your house smoky or burn it down or burn yourself you're just trying to let the oil get hot enough and the wood the, the rattan get hot enough to absorb in the oils and then we're going to seal off the ends with wax uh, and then you know kind of polish them up and spray them with polyurethane so that they look so they look nice and shiny uh, and then that's really it that's the process okay so I've ins in, uh, put the sticks in the trough with the oil and I've rotated them around you can probably see the sheen one side is going to be a little bit warmer than the other uh, 
and so what I'm going to do is after probably about a half hour or so I'm going to take and I'm going to flip them over so that because the majority the way this is angled the majority of the oil is down here um, and it's a little hot but I want to slowly um, heat the oil up and I want the oil to seep, seep into the sticks so this is how this looks this is this is the, the setup I've got going on so um, I'm gonna put a timer on and I'm gonna frequently check on this because I don't want nothing going wrong uh, it, to be honest it's safer to do this in the oven as long as the trough that you make doesn't uh, leak all right okay it's been about uh, 15 minutes and uh, the heat that on this you know gets to be pretty hot um, as you can see it's it's bubbling there and so this is pretty hot and uh, I'm gonna go ahead my intuition is telling me to go ahead and uh, uh, release these from the heat and let this cool down before I handle them um, I've, obviously the oils have gotten in I've already rotated it once uh, so both ends are able to get the um, oils into it uh, rattan is not hollow it is porous so we want the oils to kind of go through the pores and the shaft of the stick itself, so the vine itself because rattan is a vine not not a grass like bamboo so we're going to go ahead and shut the heat off on these and then let these cool down all right so um here are our sticks i'm finishing up with an embellishment of basically uh, aluminum tape uh, aluminum vent tape you can get this at the at the uh, any hardware store and you just want uh, uh, the aluminum uh, vent tape I believe this is what this is called tin foil or foil tape and this is specifically called foil tape 331 scotch 3m brand if you're looking for that um, so anyways you can go ahead and cut a piece off of it as you can see I've already added the aluminum tape uh, to the ends here is just decoration uh, when you do hit things with these if you choose to train with these these do mar and kind of can come off and you just add more tape around it when you want to kind of freshen it up sometimes you can actually add a few layers around so you have a nice thick uh, aluminum or metal band around it and so uh, what I end up having to do oftentimes is because this is pretty thick um, I end up having to split these, split this down the middle or make different strips of them. So I'm going to just add this last strip, uh, what I have here, uh, to the, this one. So at the top of this one here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this, uh, this aluminum strip around. Okay, oops, I'm out of frame. There we go. I'm going to add this around the stick. Really easy to apply if you could it's just tape is all it is nothing special about this um all it adds is a little bit of flair to your uh decorated uh now escrima or kali sticks your baton training sticks so um, basically you have to peel off the back of this aluminum or foil tape and then i'm going to find the distance below make sure this is in frame and then I like to take the piece off here and then I'm just gonna go down a little bit about right there and then just kind of place this on like a band-aid and then I do one end over and as long as I cut this pretty even uh, in half evenly in half then when I add this it should fold over nicely and there should be no it should align properly and in this particular case it kind of works it works it works it's good enough um but that's how you apply it that's what this is is foil tape whenever you see people's sticks that are decorated that way uh, th this comes in handy as a decor de decoration uh the light hits it this right this right it makes it really flashy especially if you're doing Cinewali or uh, your Corinza really fast um it, it, it adds a little bit more sparkle and flair to your to your uh, uh display your performance so um, these sticks are almost done do you could pretty much be called this done at this stage uh, I am making these for a friend's birthday um, so what I'm going to do uh, to add another layer of durability is I'm going to cover this or coat this with polyurethane a uh, quick drying polyurethane and I got the spray kind so you just 
spray it down and um, have it allow it to dry and then that'll add a nice coat and a nice sheen and it also adds some extra durability to these.